Well, I think I know exactly why Shada picked up this film. <laughs> because it reeks their DNA. Nonetheless, let's jump into the review of Hellbender, folks, right now. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film Hellbender which made its world premiere this year at Fantasia Film Festival 2021 and before it even premiered Shudder was like well we'll take that so yes it has picked up by Shudder and now has distribution so now you can keep an eye out for when you can get your opportunity to check this film out but man this film <laughs> This film was so unexpected. Um, so the fact that I know that Shutter picked it up, I knew I wanted to check it out. There was a bit of confidence that this film was going to be very unique, yet good. And indeed it was. First thing before I even get into anything is the visuals are so trippy, but they are very delightful. I really love how abstract they are to the point that you kind of feel like you're... Uh, going on a, a little a little trip yourself you know but they are utilized in a very good way that makes the experience of watching this film so much more enjoyable but uh man beyond that there's some other crazy stuff happening so before i can get to that let me just get into what this film is so in hell bitter you have this 16 year old kid izzy who suffers from a rare illness and she's stuck in isolation on the mountaintop by her mother her entire life homeschooled all that other stuff but as most 16 year olders, they start to get curious. They want to know, well, what's up with my illness? Like, I need to know more. She started wandering out and then she started pressing the limits. She met some friends. She started discovering a little bit more about herself. She also started to learn a little bit more about her mother, which ultimately started to learn a lot more about their bloodline. And when we talk about that, well, here's the part where things get a little bit crazy because, yeah, they come from this. Um, bloodline of hellbenders who are basically man i'm gonna be honest this is how i'm gonna describe what hellbenders are they're basically like a mixture of jedis and sith and adding some witchcraft into it and yeah they they they, they get it popping that's all i would say because i gotta tell you the mom did some crazy stuff like she took this one victim used the force and then Thanos snapped him and he turned to death. And I was just like, what? <laughs> so like, it's like a mixture of Jedi and Sips and some demonic pressure and mixing it all up. And then they served it up. Um, but so the daughter at first was just innocent. She was a homeschool girl. She didn't know what was going on. And like, by all means, when I say innocent. She was very naive to society around her. So when she was able to meet up with some friends that she just met. They definitely were doing what most 16 year olders would do, you know, a little bit of bullying, peer pressure. And while that was an experience for her, that also started to further her questioning of her being in isolation. But Hellbenders is a name that was kind of used through generations, as I said. And they're like witch, they're like a mixture of witches, demons, and like apex predators. And they basically live off of the fear of human blood that gives them powers that's been around for generations and then keyword it's evolving and so the more that the daughter is learning the more she's developing powers really quickly and getting very dangerous also at the same time while they're in isolation they have a they have a rock band their rock band's called hellbenders and the music's actually pretty cool they definitely was uh getting it in like i gotta say that's why that's why this movie's a little bit abstract because it's just like wait there's like musical performances happening yeah there definitely really is. But um, because the mom has been trying to protect her, it has this other weird element to, to this story. It's like, did the mom always know that the daughter would get even more powerful to her? Or does this have to do with the idea that the mom is aging, so she's losing power? Or just because of the idea of them trying to stay in isolation, how they happen to adapt for survival, and the mom may not be as powerful as she, as she is because she's changing her habits. So it really has a lot of intrigue to the storyline, and I really do like the different things that they kind of hint at um, in, in, in regards to theories. But, uh... I got to say, the things get crazy. Like, once the daughter starts to understand what's happening, the mom totally accepts it. So they really start to get unhinged. And there's some scene where they're, like, spitting blood in each, in each other's mouths. They are seeing things. And this is where the visions start to really get pretty cool. Um, 
and Danes get absolutely gross. There's a word I haven't used yet. Danes absolutely get gross. But overall, I say the story was okay. The visuals were good. The acting was okay. But I think that because the story had so much possibilities going forward, that I'm super intrigued. I really want to see where this can go. So um, this is a film. I for sure check it out. I'm glad I did. It's Hellbender. It made it again. It's world premiere at Fantasia Film Festival 2021. And it has been picked up by Shudder. So that way now you can keep your eyes out to see it. Um, Izzy played by Zelda Adams and then the mom played by Toby Poser. I they did a really good job in the in the um mother daughter aspect, especially when the power stuff started getting involved. So yeah, folks, check this out. You let me know your thoughts about this. And as always, stay tuned because more reviews are coming very soon. Thank you for watching, folks.